by day, hour by hour, more General Electric products are finding their way to the corners of the globe. Through its factories and through its people, General Electric is bringing more goods to more people throughout the world. Agent for this world distribution since 1919 is the International General Electric Company, commonly known as IGE, with its headquarters at New York and Schenectady. The export territory handled by IGE comprises all potential markets except the United States, Alaska, Hawaii, and Canada. General Electric's interests in the export area are the full responsibility of the men of IGE, whether it be sales, patents, licenses, or any other phase of the complicated relationship existing between manufacturer and consuming public. To bring its machines and appliances to the consuming public around the world, International General Electric has established different forms of representation in different countries. This representation is classified into four groups, depending on the potential market and local conditions. These representation groups are, one, foreign selling companies, two, distributors, three, direct sales offices, and four, associated manufacturing companies. When we consider the countries where one or more of these types of representation is in effect, IGE's coverage of the world is amazingly complete. Let's study this world map to see what makes IGE tick in the various parts of the world. In the first representation group are the foreign selling companies. We find 13 wholly owned companies and one 60% owned company in 14 different countries. Six of these wholly owned foreign selling companies carry on both manufacturing and selling activities. These foreign selling companies are located in Argentina, Brazil, in China where Chinese capital has been taken in in partnership, in Mexico, South Africa, and in Uruguay. Selling activity only is carried on by foreign selling companies in Colombia, Cuba, India, Java, the Philippine Islands, Portugal, Puerto Rico, and Venezuela. First, let's visit Mexico. Typical of many concerns making greater use of electrical equipment, are Mexico's petroleum refining plants. The rapid awakening and industrialization of Mexico have been hastened by her abundant supply of oil and other natural resources. Through General Electric SA, with headquarters at Mexico City, GE products reach the length and breadth of Mexico. This wholly owned foreign selling company has made the GE monogram as familiar south of the border as it is in the United States. Appliances and small products reach the individual customer through attractive retail stores at Mexico City, Guadalajara, and Monterey. Many of the GE products in these stores are made in Mexico. Here, for example, is the GE fluorescent lamp factory at Monterey, where lamps are made to precision requirements in an almost continuous chain of production. Sugar refining is one of the industries here using electric motors from the time the cane is brought to the factory until it is ready for storage and subsequent shipment. Motors and controls are in evidence too at the Laminadora de Acero steel plant where Giant claws pick up huge forgings and transport them to the rolling mill for shaping. Textile mills throughout Mexico use GE equipment. Here, top grade cloth is produced with the most modern quality control devices. Motivated by restrictions on imports and local controls on exchange, GE is building factories in Mexico and some other countries 
where IGE does business. This factory is part of the expansion program in Mexico. We must be off to other countries on our quick trip around the world, but as our day ends in Mexico, we have just time enough to see a team of diesels coming out for additional duty after a long day's work. Our next visit is to Cuba. The Cuban story is sugar, for Cuba produces enough sugar cane to fill one-fifth of the world's sugar bowls. Operations in the mill area are increasingly aided by the use of electric power and electrical machines. GE Cubana is an outstanding example of the manner in which service shops can be organized. A large warehouse contains replacement parts. Efficient service is made possible in a matter of minutes by an expanding fleet of two-way radio trucks with assigned personnel who are prepared to apply GE's repair techniques. Another outstanding foreign selling company is General Electric SA, located in Brazil. The whole world knows the exotic sights of Rio. Copacabana Beach, Sugarloaf Mountain, and the famous statue of Christ atop Corcovada. Many electrical advances have been made in Brazil since these GE transformers were installed at Rio 30 years ago. Pacoamba Stadium, for instance, has the most modern sports lighting system in Brazil. Speaking of light, let's drive over and visit the factory where the famous Mazda electric light bulbs are made. This factory has been one of the outstanding plants in Brazil for more than 25 years. In addition to numerous other installations, GESA is now opening a large factory near Sao Paulo, Brazil. This up-to-date factory is specially designed to permit maximum light and minimum heat with superior ventilation. From GESA's main office at Rio, the sales and service organizations branch out in many directions to cover the active Brazilian market. Back at New York City, locomotives and heavy equipment are being loaded. Loaded for shipment to South America. Upon arrival at Rio, they are assembled at dockside and put into immediate use. Major purchasers have been the Central, the Sorocabana, and the Polizia Railway companies. An ever-increasing number of diesels and electric locomotives are being purchased for railway modernization. The power used to run Brazilian industry is generated at hydroelectric power plants such as the Cubatao power station which supplies electric energy to industries in the Sao Paulo area. Uruguay, too, merits a visit. The port of Montevideo, like many ports around the world, sees GE products pass through its docks. As one outlet of GESA of Uruguay, the port is also the gateway to this major foreign selling company. A new factory at Montevideo, which is now in operation, employs the most modern techniques of floor space utilization with steel rafted ceilings. Among the items manufactured here are Formex wire, flat irons, and refrigerators. Other products made by General Electric SA in Uruguay are the familiar fluorescent lamps. Production also includes radios. When visiting nearby Argentina, we fly over the thriving city of Buenos Aires, which is famed for the beauty of its architecture. This can be seen at the government house, the law courts, and the massive railway station. A port with great activity, Buenos Aires is also the headquarters of GESA of Argentina. Led by management with years of practical experience, skilled workers assemble watt-hour meters 
and produce radios on a production line basis, besides many other products. Some of the foreign selling companies, such as Venezuela and Colombia, also carry non-competitive products such as Caterpillar tractors. Portugal will be next. For from here came many settlers of the New World. Today, modern vessels at Lisbon signify a modern country which is the southwestern gateway to Europe and the home of General Electric Portuguesa, a wholly owned foreign selling company. Still another foreign selling company is South African General Electric. To some, South Africa may seem to be a land inhabited only by Zulu warriors. But the commercial world sees this land as a modern country with a white population of two and one-half million. The Johannesburg headquarters occupy this building in the industrial area of the city. A large and attractive retail store, Hot Point House, is supplemented by the new factory at Bononi, which is only 18 miles from Johannesburg. In Cape Town, an aggressive organization handles the sale of GE products. An office at Durban supplies the needs of local industries in the Natal region. Important customers include the gold mines, the diamond mines, the rapidly expanding steel industry, the large electric plants, and other industries of every description. Yes, the eyes of the commercial world see South Africa as a vitally important and steadily growing modern market. Next stop is India. Here it is no paradox to see an ancient ox cart carrying a modern refrigerator. For old India is another market with fine possibilities as the country becomes more industrialized. The other foreign selling companies, shown in black, round out the picture and bring us to our second representation group, the distributors. Largest distributor is the W.R. Grace Company, operating through the International Machinery Company, which represents IGE on the west coast of South America. Grace sells all GE items in Peru, Ecuador, Bolivia, and Chile. In all, there are distributors in 46 countries as indicated in gray. They are too numerous to mention individually. In the country shown in Crosshatch, no representation exists. Goods are sold to these countries through purchasing agents in the United States, subject, of course, to government regulation. To supplement the first two representation groups, we have what are known as direct sales offices directly under IGE at certain logical markets. These offices are located at Newfoundland, Panama, Cairo, and Istanbul. Administrative contact offices outside the United States are located at London and Paris for the convenience of IGE customers. The fourth representation group includes the associated manufacturing companies. GE, through IGE, has an investment in these companies. Associated manufacturing companies are located in Australia, Belgium, England, France, Italy, and Spain. These companies also carry on activities in their colonies. Halfway around the world, from IGE's home offices, we can pay a visit to an outstanding manufacturing associate, Australian General Electric. In Australia, Miles from other great world centers, a national destiny is being shaped with abundant energy and initiative. Australia's largest city is Sydney, a thriving modern metropolis with a population of more than one and a quarter million. Its fine harbor is familiar to many Americans who made it a port of call during World War II. Large areas of Australia, however, are agricultural, and many of the world's granaries house Australian wheat. Inside AGE's plant near Sydney, the full list of domestic specifications are met to ensure uniformity of product. The license to manufacture goods which will bear the GE monogram is a restricted privilege, and Australian General Electric continues as an efficient guardian of this privilege. 
In another part of the world, we can almost hear the strains of the Marseillaise as we visit another major associated manufacturing area, France. Here, generations have promenaded in the spring and have kept a rendezvous at the small cafe partway up that uncrowned wonder of the world, the Eiffel Tower. Representation of GE through IGE is thorough in this area, with two partly owned manufacturing associates, Alstom and the French Thompson Houston Company. The installations of the Thompson Houston Company are as fine as any in the old world. Italy torn by war, and yet the quickest post-war recovery in the European area was made by the Italian General Electric Company, which manufactures, among other things, large motors, transformers, rectifiers, generators, radios, and other domestic appliances. Let's visit Belgium for a glimpse of one more manufacturing associate, SEM, which makes everything from diesel engines to electric ranges. The material, which looks like cotton, is actually glass fibers, which are used for heat insulation. Wiring of the heating units is done with rigid copper wire mounted on porcelain insulators. The heating plates are entirely manufactured at SEM's Heron Works. Naturally, Prior to distribution, all wiring must be checked to guard the customer's interests and to assure that a top quality product leaves the factories of IGE. There we have it, worldwide coverage of electrical markets. You'll find International General Electric wherever you go. In the crucible of modern living, Electricity has the power to mold the shape of things to come. Says W.R. Herod, president of International General Electric, we have an abiding faith in the continuing technological leadership of General Electric, and we firmly intend that International General Electric shall continue to contribute its share to the profit and standing of General Electric, both here and throughout the world.